All right, fellas. Somebody just messaged me on Instagram and gave me a super good idea. FJ40 Cruiser, do you have a name? Patrick, thank you, brilliant. He said he'd love to see me head out the door in the morning. 11.43, it's still the morning. With the toolbox full of tools, all the stuff I need, make a lure on the water. I suppose not on the water, on the bank, in the field. Grab a piece of wood, make a bait. Good idea. I don't have a toolbox. I think I have a bag. I thought I had a Makita little tool bag somewhere. Never mind. I don't need a special little tool bag to do this. I'll just use my tackle bag because I'm not supposed to be using my other lures anyway. So we'll just fill this up with tools. Pliers, wire bending pliers, some wire, super glue, very important. A couple carving knives. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna bring one. Handsaw, a file, lure eyes, some tiny ones. I'll be bringing a little sandwich bag with some bird shot in it, just in case I want to put some weight in this fishing lure. I have no idea what kind of fishing lure I'll, I'll be making out there. I haven't thought into this very deeply. With that, I just realized I'm gonna bring this small chisel too in case I need to mortise out a hole in the bottom of the bait. That's a good idea. And of course, I'm bringing a couple of hooks. I'm not gonna try to, you know, mine some iron out of the ground and start a blacksmith forge and make steel and, you know, it's gonna bring some hooks. Oh. You can't forget the, co I mean, baking soda and accelerator for the super glue. A pokey thing and a measuring device. Um, you know, I don't need the pokey thing. Never mind. But what I will need, I plan on painting this thing out there. So I need some to bring the paint that I need. I'm just gonna work with these colors white, yellow, red, and blue. We're ready. This is gonna be really weird if there's people down here trying to fish and I'm shooting a full-blown lure making video outside. A little bit of weird's healthy for people once in a while though, you know? Okay, nobody here, it's looking good. Let's make a bait. This is where I will be making my creation. Probably on that rock right there, nice and flat work area. I gotta go forage for some wood. I have already come across wilderness lure making gold. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh. Right here, right here guys. You guys see that? Oh, it's a daredevil. Look at that. Oh. This might not be usable actually. It doesn't have a swivel on it, so I wouldn't be able to make a spinner with it. We're gonna keep it though. Let's go find some wood. A lot of what you come across in the woods <laughs> is just disgusting rotten wood. I'm just cutting into this to see what it is. It feels pretty solid. It's definitely uh, taking a while to cut through. Did I mention this is a one day? One day! I think this is walnut, and that is some pretty clean wood. We're gonna use this. That's how you know Marling Bates was here. <laughs> okay, I did not bring a pencil. Silly me. I have to cut the shape of a lure out of this, and I think I'm gonna stay away from right there because the grain gets a little wonky. I'm gonna try to stay right here. We don't need nothing big. You can see that line where I cut, that's the thickness of the bait. Now I gotta cut to that line and not myself. We can make a lure out of that right there. And I got leftover wood. I might not even wanna paint this, that looks pretty slick. Some spalted, kinda clean looking grain really. There's some cross cut grain right there. Or I don't know what you call that, that checkering spotted stuff, but not bad. Okay, the time has come. I'm just gonna sit here with this knife and carve out a lure. This is walnut, that's crazy. Oh, well, it's not crazy. I was just gonna say this is walnut though. There's nothing crazy about this being walnut. And I don't have sandpaper. I'm gonna have to get as smooth and like perfectly shaped as a lure as I can with this and a file. That file should really help. Still, that's pretty, that's roughing it. That's, that's really roughing it. I think since in the last video, I found out what shape a topwater lure should be. Remember the, that jerk bait that I made, it had a big bow downwards and it didn't work as a crankbait but i thought that it would work good as a topwater i might try to do that with this well i'm going to try to do that with this it's gonna look so good it might rain it's looking a little bit like rain i just cut the bait in half whoops just kidding i just realized how small the hooks were that i brought for this thing and this bait needs to be like half the size i was making so i just cut it in half and we're gonna start from here now silly me 
got to cut this body so it's more narrow too. There, that's the correct sized bait right there. What an angle. <laughs> so that is what I have it carved down to. It's got the shape that I'm looking for. I'm gonna go at this with the file, try to get it smooth. And that is as far as I need to go with smoothing this bait out. Next step, I need a hole in the belly that I can put some lead in and then I'll cut the wire slot. And I'm not gonna use that chisel. I'm gonna carve a hole with this knife into the belly. I'm gonna take my time so I don't cut myself because I'm gonna be cutting down towards my hand, applying pressure. So I'm gonna pay attention to what I'm doing right now. It's usually a good tactic. Pay attention to what you're doing and you won't hurt yourself. It's not 100%, but never hurts. No rush, there's no rush. Don't cut yourself. This being a dense wood, I don't think I'll need a lot of lead, so that's good. I'm just making a narrow slot like that, and hopefully I can put like five, six, seven little bird shot pellets in the belly, and that'll be enough, because there'll be hooks on the bottom of this too, and walking topwater baits don't really need a lot of weight anyway. Okay, let's see what I can fit in here. That's the slot. Four. You know what, that's enough. I don't want to tip it so my shot falls out, but you can see it in there. I can fit four little pellets in there. I'm gonna secure those by just dropping some super glue over them. I just sprayed super glue on my hand and it burns. Or wait, I wasn't supposed to do that yet. I'm gonna pop those out and cut the wire slot now. You gotta cut the wire slot first because the wire goes behind those pellets of lead and you don't wanna have to cut through lead with your saw. You can, but it makes it unnecessarily difficult. Let's see how good of a slot I can cut now. This is really making me realize how handy a vise is. How much more comforting it is to not have sharp tools scraping by your hands all the time as you hold your work. That's pretty straight for holding it by hand. I mean, I've done worse in my shop, so that went smooth. Okay, it's been this wire. I think I hear tornado sirens. Lovely. There's a line tie. Front hook hanger and the rear hook hanger. This rear hook hanger, it's gonna be stubborn because the bait curves up like that. I'm gonna glue it in first. Just drop some glue and pull it down and hold it. And it stays there and you can apply more. Doing the same thing with the line tie, gotta pull it down. And then once this sets, it's good to go. That wire harness is in there for good, exactly where it needs to be. So the only thing is, where the lead goes, I kinda filled up some space in there with this front hook hanger. We might only be able to fit three pellets in there now, which is fine, we'll make do. Might be a very finesse topwater bait. Never mind, we'll get four. We'll make it work, because you can kinda just jam them in there and deform the wood a little bit. So, get some baking soda on there. Mm -mm. Cooking with Marlin Baits. Wind is not helping. Just like that. We got the wire harness in and the bait is even weighed with four pellets. Next, we have to seal this entire thing with super glue. I'm gonna try not to burn my fingers. That is a sealed bait. You could fish with that right now, but we ain't gonna. We're gonna make it look better. I'm gonna try to smooth this off with this file a little better. The super glue penetrated the grain of this wood, so I'm not worried about filing down too far and then, you know, opening up the grain again. I'm not going at it really hard either. I'm just scuffing the surface really and trying to flatten things, but I'm gonna do this, get it smooth, and I think we're gonna put some paint on this. Okay, I did not bring anything to paint this with, so I'm gonna have to find other stuff. What could you paint with? Just a stick? Ooh, a feather. Perfect. Universe provides, man. All right, let's start with some white. It's gonna be a pretty dirty paint job, but that's okay. And I mean literally dirty because we're getting crumbs in the paint and applying it to the bait. Let's go with some blue now. I'm gonna use the wet on wet technique because I don't feel like waiting for paint to dry. 
We're gonna give this a nice blue top with our feather. Not only that, but I think we're gonna give it some blue bars. Oh my goodness, what have I done? My masterpiece, I dropped it. Okay, now I think I'm just gonna mix some yellow around, probably where the blue isn't. Um, I should probably show you guys the bait. See, it's just like white with a little bit of blue bars right now, but where the where the blue isn't, I'm gonna add some yellow. Gotta come up from the bottom here. Give this a nice contrasting bright paint scheme. With this dirty water, I think that's what we're needing today. Last color I got's red. I think I'm just gonna put that on the belly. Get plenty of it here, so I'm not making orange with the yellow. Probably wouldn't be a bad thing if I did even. You know, that looks a lot like some of the first baits I've ever made. I know I really rushed it with the paint job, but being next to the water like this really makes you want to fish with what you're making. You kind of rush it, you know? I just want to fish. But we have to wait for this paint to dry and then glue an eye on or two and then coat it in super glue again. Actually, I'll probably coat this in super glue, then glue the eye. I couldn't help myself. I decided before the paint was even dry to cover it in super glue for some reason and then I sprayed it with accelerator and uh, it worked. It's not wet anymore, I kind of just sealed it all in there. That was probably a really bad idea and super uh, impatient of me to do because that stuff will probably peel right off now, but maybe I'll give it another one. Let's give it, let's do that twice. When in doubt, do the stupid thing that you just did again. There. Now it will be fine. Let's glue some eyes on this thing. It's pretty cool, I have like a permanent holder now. I glued my pliers to that rear hook hanger there. Nice, there's the eyes I got. Just a drop. Get off. Oh no. Okay, I thought that would happen. Let's just get the eye there, there we've got it. My pliers broke off, it's okay. Already broke a little chunk of the clear coat off, but that's okay too. Let's try to do this a little cleaner on this side. Sorry, I don't know why I'm not pointing the camera at what I'm working at. It's a little hard out here to do that, but. All right, final steps right here. I'm just cleaning off the line ties and hooks hangers. I'm cleaning off the line tie and the hook hangers. That way we can get some hooks on this thing and we can fish it. It's finished. The most beautiful bait I have ever made is finished. I don't think I will ever top this. Let's catch a fish with it. Oh my goodness. It's the very first cast. What does it do? It floats. And it does a slight little wobble. And it casts well. This is amazing. But does it catch fish? We will see. You can walk it too. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it is, yeah, it's a lot like an ultralight topwater walking bait. Well, this bait works extremely well. I think I just need to go to a better spot. So I'll see you at the better spot. Why are you eating the pie? Just stopping at home and having some pie, okay? Then I'm gonna go to the creek. Feels good to be back at the creeks. Once Finn was born, I haven't really done creek fishing since then, except in the last video. But you know what I'm saying, it feels good to be back. It is hard to get a big fish out of the creeks, but Usually you can get some bites. And if I had to admit it, I think I'm that kind of fisherman. I'd prefer to get some bites rather than just one big fish or multiple bites. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> this is pretty similar to that taco bait we just fished with. It'll probably do pretty good here. There we go. I already had a nibble. We'll do good today. There we go. Small mouth. It's official. Smallmouth like baits that are made in the wild. Nature made baits. Baits made by the riverbank. Did you guys notice the giant paint chip that came off of this bait? <laughs> Super glue doesn't work good. Not ideal. The line gets tangled in these hooks a lot on this bait. I think it's because of the shape and it comes up really easy. And it's a walking style bait, so you know. It's churning directions a lot and swinging those hooks around. There we go. Oh, that's a, oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. 
Dang it. Come back. Dang it, that was a good one. All right, we have to make up for that. We have to get something good now. There we go. Got a pike. Bring him around. Nice. Pike-like lures made on the riverbank too. Sweet, that's also official. It's pretty chill. Two species, not bad. Just need to get a largemouth now, we can make that three. My lure's getting destroyed. Ooh, that was a pike too. Dang it. I think I set the hook too early and I kind of spooked them. Seems like pike wait longer. They're very ambushy, like they'll stalk and wait and see what's gonna happen. Ooh, the anticipation. Gotta remember to breathe. It's kind of funny both of the eyes have stayed on this whole time. I think that was my fastest one day so far. Cause yeah, I caught those fish like 15 minutes ago. That was a fast one day. There we go. I think that's a, another smallie. This one spined me pretty good. That's my blood. <laughs> another smallie, a little bit bigger. Good thing bass spines don't sting. Should probably retie after those three fish. One of them was a pike. Well, we made it to the big river. The bite really kind of stopped the closer I came to it. So it seems like they're a lot more active in the creek. I'm probably gonna head back that way. There we go. What is it? Nope, nope, come back. Another smallie. Or no, largemouth. Yeah, that's a largemouth. Third species, sweet. Oh, nettles. That's one thing I don't miss about creek fishing. Nettles. I hope I just pointed to some nettles. I'd look like an idiot if I didn't. I just ran into a little pike right here. That's a pike. There we go. Hey, he took some drag. Up on the bank. That's a better pike. Oh no, come here, come here. Just keep your mouth closed, please. Not bad. That might be like, I don't know, 20 inches. Oops. What a horrendous release. Not bad. Two pike, one day, on a bait made on a river bank. Now it's starting to rain. Okay, now it's starting to get heavy. I'm gonna go under this tree and check the radar. It'll pass. Gotta wait it out, maybe 10 minutes under this lovely tree. It's been a little while, the rain's not letting up. I think if I go now though, we'll be good. It's just about done. Really wanna fish this spot again. Oh crap, that was another pike. All right, last spot I wanna try. I probably should go home. It's where I lost this big smallmouth. Give it a few attempts. Got another. I hope I got that on camera. I wasn't facing the right way. This one's a little better. Another largey. Nice. I 
I'm just casting and walking back to the car. It's not too bad overall, you know? It was a very simple, you know, nothing special about it kind of lure, but it all worked. I think this caught the most and nicest amount of fish out of any other video on my channel right now. I'm not proud of that. <clears throat> it's really not a bad way to go get wood though, you know? If I'm wrong about this being walnut, um, and any of you know actually what this kind of wood is, let me know. It could be something cool like chestnut or something. I have no idea. I think it's walnut. Success. Quite the success. That's it. Next video, making something fancy. I need to get back into that kind of thing, you know? I'm feeling it. I want to get fancy, get detailed. I really shouldn't do this, but I think I'm going to give you guys a peek of what I'm making for the next video. I already started it. On to the next bait. That bait.